Hello, my friends. Hello. Welcome. Welcome home. Welcome to my sacred space. And welcome to Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. I'm Olivia. Today we're using the Healing Mind and Spirit cards for our thought of the day. If you're new to this, the thought of the day, well, if you're new to this, I'll explain what we're doing here in just a minute, so bear with me. Right now we're doing the thought of the day, and that thought of the day is all about love. I understand that my true pur purpose is to give and receive love. It's so simple. Why is it so difficult for us? We all love love. We all want to be in love and have love in our lives. We all know that when we give love out into the universe, love is what comes back to us. As you understand your true nature and your true purpose, your life will be permanently transformed and then you can begin to change the world. You know, I think about uh, 1 John, I don't know, I forgot, but it's the scripture that where Jesus says, as I have loved you, love one another as I have loved you love one another when you love your neighbor you're showing Jesus your love you're showing God your love when you're acting in love you're acting in a pure with a pure va vibration and a pure real connection with God and your fellow man. So I won't harp on it. That's your thought of the day, love. And we'll relate it to your cards. Okay, so what are we doing here? First, what we're doing is we're liking the video. Do, 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 do. Go on over. Click, click, click. Like. <laughs> what else? Have you subscribed? Maybe you have an account and you've come to see me, but have you hit my subscription button? Do that. Bing, bing, bing. I would love it. Anyway, many of you have, and I just really appreciate you guys. And I just want to let y'all know that you are an inspiration to me on a daily basis and even more. I dream about you guys. This is, this is incredible. This, um, I talk with a lot of you um, in person. Some of you I don't. Some of you do get private readings from me. I appreciate that very much. Um, I just, I really love getting to know you guys. And, um, and I love your comments on my video. And I love that I can do this. It's just, whew, I am, I do get overwhelmed with love with this. Because when I put this forth, it was with love. And I do feel the love coming back. And I can't say enough about that. So thank you again for being here. Um. So the next thing is, if you haven't already, pick your favorite card topper or your favorite card, and then that will be your card of the day. Some people do it differently, and that's fine. I don't mind that at all. So um, without further ado, I think we'll go ahead and look at your card toppers. I'm going to show them to you up close. So we have our skull here. He's kind of a sugar skull. He's from New Orleans. He's not about death. He's about coming back to this world to celebrate with the people that you love after, you know, after you have died. So he's not a scary guy. He's, he's a fun guy. He's a family member. And we have a turtle. And this turtle is, yes, he's, to me, he's a jewel. <laughs> Let's see if we can see his face. And almost, but not quite. That's okay. Then we're going to look at our blue jewel. I wanted to show you how much it sparkles. <laughs> and then we have our beautiful pink crucifix or our cross. It's not actually a crucifix, it's a cross. So beautiful. All right. Now, let's look and see what your day looks like. Pick your card. If you need more time to pick your card, take your time. You can pause the video in order to do that, otherwise I am going to turn over the guy under the sugar skull and see what you have today. If you pick the sugar skull today, you have the six of rods. Wonderful. 
give yourself a pat on the back. You have done a good job and you know it. You may not get recognized for this, but you recognize that you did this good job. You know what I'm talking about. You've been, you had a goal and you achieved it. You may actually get a prize for this. Somebody might recognize it, especially if it's a goal in love. If you have been working on how to love your neighbor, how to love one another, how to show God love through loving one another. You are triumphant and you're getting love back. Love and recognition are coming straight back to you. And I don't have an assignment for you today except to feel that wonderful feeling of accomplishment. You did it. And to feel and to go out into the world and give love and receive love. It's always easier when you're in a good place. Now we're going to turn over the turtle. <clears throat> the fool. I love the fool. The fool is wonderful. Now we can think of the fool as someone like this baby who's putting his, his hand in the fire but I'll tell you something about this baby. He's not going to sit there and roast its hand. That baby is going to learn. He's going to pull his hand out and he's going to learn. There's no reason for her to be so worried. Um, in fact, I feel like the worry, the worry person on the fool card is kind of a saying that worrying is a bit foolish. What can you do with worry? Also, we have this young person who's knowing where he's going. He or she down this path. There's some divergent paths up ahead. This is a, sometimes a, a follow, follow your bliss. Follow your dreams, especially in love. Go ahead and do the foolish thing. Do the foolish thing and let them know that you love them. Even though you're embarrassed about it. Tell them how you love them. What do you love about them? Do you just love the way they look and sound and the way they smell? Those are not things that impress a lady. If you don't know her, to love something unique and special about her, then she won't, she won't want to hear that you like the way she smells. <laughs> just a little tip there. However, um, going ahead and going on a limb, telling them how you really feel and why, you know, I was having a bad day and you said something in particular to me that really made me look at you. And that's when I saw how beautiful and how you are and how good you smell. No, you don't even want to do it that way. Just, just go out on a, you can go out on a limb and tell someone you love them today. What is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen might be pretty bad. So take that chance. Be a fool. Imagine yourself, imagine, imagine that you're a well-fed pet dog and you get to lay around on the couch all day and get petted and you love your life. But then one day they leave the gate open on trash day and you get to go out. That's, that's the fool's day today. You're going to go tear up some trash. You might go sniff a few other friends of yours. Show them your love. Do it. Have a good day today. That's your son. Have a good day. And you, sir. Now we're going to look at this blue a jewel. Blue jewel. And we're going to turn over your card. And what is your card today? Oh, the Eight of Pentacles. Someone else who's working hard. That's what this is. Hmm. Are you working hard in love? Are you working hard on your relationship? Is that what's going on? Oh, so what are you doing? You're learning. You've had your nose to the grindstone. You're paying attention to detail. That's important. And love for sure is paying attention to details. 
that's what makes you really feel seen in love is when somebody knows the details about you, the small things. You know how you like your coffee. Um, if you have this today, this card today, I would just say, do these things. Take these steps towards long-term goals. Take, um, show someone through action. It looks like that's what you're doing, that you love them. Maybe you're making them something, or maybe you're just, you know, just moving forward that you keep on showing your love. When we put, whatever we put out into the universe, it comes back to us. So if you're feeling really, really unloved, try to love someone. Try to show someone how much you love them. I know it can be a risk. We're going to turn over and look under the cross today. Let's see what you have. I remember, oh yes, the Queen of Rods. She is so beautiful. She is so loved by her people. You know why? Because she definitely, she gets up off her horse. She tends the sick. She goes into their homes. She welcomes new babies. She's very close with her, um, with her kingdom, with her people. Very close. She's, she shows her love through action. <clears throat> I understand that my purpose is to give and receive love. She understands that very much. And in turn, her people love her so much. She serves her people, and her people serve her in return. I want you to see her face up close. I'm going to go closer. See that sweet face? See that smile? It's always, that's her, that's her resting face. <laughs> she has a resting love face. <laughs> okay. All right. That's enough. What's, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Put your card back. So your assignment, if you have an assignment today, is just to, just to love. Everybody's got the same assignment today. Love. And that's, this has been a short and sweet reading. I appreciate you guys with all my heart. Here it is in my hands. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I give it to you. <laughs> I give it to you because you've given me your heart, and I really appreciate that. Every single one of you <clears throat> that has subscribed, that has liked my videos, that comes back to see more. That's the best part. If you've come back, that makes me... And you don't have to come every day. Just come sometimes. I love it. I love it. Thank you again for being here, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I look forward to it.